Hi, my name is Deidre Mares, and today for Talk of the Town, we're at the fifth annual support of mental illness. It's called Stimulus, and it's put on by Essence of Mind. Let's go inside and take a look. <laughs> My name is Simone Walsh, and you are at Stimulus, our fifth annual fundraising gala in support of mental health. Now, what is the organization behind Stimulus? Essence of Mind, we're a nonprofit organization in support of mental health where we help families and individuals who need outlets, don't know who to reach out to, they need professional help and um, funding to reach out to those outlets. So we help to create that for them. Now, how was this Essence of Mind created? Was there a need in the community? It was created, um, the committee members, we've all had family and friends that have dealt with uh, mental illness. And we noticed there was a gap in the community, especially in the black community where it was just brushed underneath the rug. So we decided to come together and form something where you can come and be educated and speak to people about it and find out ways of getting help. It's actually a jazz singer as well and a very important keynote address. You mentioned to me that you are an advocate in Peel for disability and mental illness. In the black community, how do you find that we deal with multi mental illness? That's how we deal with it. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why we are so, I don't know if it's ashamed or if it's a lack of education um, and awareness, but really like when things are happening to us, especially in this day and age, we have the resources, we have the groups out there, why are we not seeking that help? So I really think within the black community that we really need to get out of the bushes. Um, we really need to be more, brave to stand up and say yes this is what's happening to us what do we need to do to make things better so i don't know why we keep doing it but it's no help to us whatsoever today i'll be the keynote speaker for the stimulus and unfortunately my part is just to speak <laughs> i'm hoping to engage the audience i'm um, sharing my story with mental health and all the other things that involve them around my work and the work that i've been doing for a few years in the community and some of the other things that are interesting about my work so as a keynote speaker and you give us a little snippet of your story so, born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. I was actually 13, 12 when I came here. And unfortunately, um, I got spiraled into a lot of different things and experiencing a lot of things that has to do with mental health and experiencing a lot of things that has to do with physical abuse and, not un and, and a family that did not understand what mental health really was and how, can, how I could tackle that part of things. So, so what is your advice to those who, that are dealing with that in their lives? Um, my advice to those would be spell it out, communicate it clearly, say clearly what it is and what you're feeling. And if people don't understand you, uh, chances are those are not the people you want to be around until they get to understand more of some of the things that you're going through. My name is Jade Jagger Clark. I'm the owner and artistic director of Jade's Hip Hop Academy. We will be doing a dance performance tonight for the Essence of Mind Gala. Now, how long have you been dancing and how long have you owned your own company? I started dancing when I was 14 and by the time I was 18, I had my own company and we're entering our 10th year of business right now. That is amazing. People are still trying to, do, like, people very rarely get to live out their passion and their dream. So how are you able to do that in such a, a young age? That's awesome. It definitely wasn't easy. There was a lot of adversity that I faced as a young entrepreneur, as a young female entrepreneur, and also just as, you know, dealing with hip hop dance, which is what we deal with. And for the public, still, there's a lot of negative connotation around hip hop dance. So, but, you know, over time, I just stayed persistent and we just, we proved ourselves time and time and again. So after that, things got successful. People started requesting us. We just finished the Pan Am Games. We just finished performing for TIFF. So yeah, just stay with it is basically what I can say. Just don't let anything discourage you from your dreams. 